Hello sports fans, you're watching the Electro Sports Network and this is Super Mega Baseball 2 uh, with the inaugural season uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for, for some baseball. And uh, you're looking at opening day and here are the standings as we, uh, as we get things underway. Uh, the four divisions there made up some of the finest teams of baseball you've ever come across. Uh, certainly there's quite a lot of baseball to be played here. Uh, Bulldozer Power, of course, uh, the underdogs for this particular season, uh, having just entered, and uh, and on opening day they will be taking on uh, the almighty power of the Nomads. Uh, it'll be uh, Mr. Feetum who will be our starting pitcher for today, and uh, let's get it underway. So here we go, great deal of excitement, and it's a capacity crowd as you would expect on the opening day of the season. Uh, the Nomads there with uh, with their starting lineup, and uh, and they should expect to cause quite a bit of problem for this this new Bulldozer Power team who were up to bat first. Uh, Ulysses failure leading them off uh, from right field, and uh, let's see what he can do. Number 32, the right field. See if he can't stamp his authority on the season from the very first swing. Well, that's not bad. Hold on. Yes, it is. Okay, well, I ain't got an ignominious start there, uh, but he did hit it, and that's uh, that's not a bad place to uh, to get things underway. Uh, it's B. Jack Hookers. He's going to let that one go. Doesn't really matter. We want to tie this pitcher out. There are nine innings to play, and, uh, and we'll wait for a pitch that really suits us. Like it. Foul ball. And another one. It all counts. Uh, that, one's, uh, that one's also a foul ball there. Should not really have swung at that one, if I'm honest. And, uh, and that's out too. Uh, not the greatest showing there, but we are making the pitcher use up some of his, uh, his pitching arm in the process. This is Bam Bam Puckai, the shortstop. Takes a swing at that one, and, uh, and it's no good. And uh, neither's that one. Uh, staring down the pitcher, hoping to get a result here. No, no, that was very, very early swing and very much a miss. And uh, and that bulldozer power retired there with uh, no hits, no runs, no anything. Uh, so Mr. Feetum will be now taking to the mound uh, in hope that he can turn things around at the bottom of the first. Now back, number 15. The right field. There's Jack Onion to start things off for the mo uh, for the uh, Nomads. Uh, he's 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 one of their better regarded players, and uh, we'll we'll just throw something quite casual to him uh, that is very clearly a ball. Uh, yeah, he, he didn't go for that. Uh, the the silky veteran uh, knows better than to swing at any old rubbish uh, like that one as well. That that one wasn't ideal either. And uh, and here we go with a with a, a vicious curve. Maybe maybe we can get a result out of this. Strike one. Oh, feel it. Yeah, what do you make of that there, Onion? Strike two, and he swung at that one as well, which is, uh, which is a result. Uh, means that the pitch was, uh, was clearly not bad. That one, however, not so much. But he stuck that one right up in the air. That's going to be uh, an easy catch there for Steve Morey, uh, the, uh, the power catcher. And uh, that's one out. Pickles Dillhofer now is uh, is facing down Feetum. Let's see if uh, if he's got the mustard. Well, he had the mustard to leave that one alone, and uh, and that just shows the temperament of this salty veteran. He, he left that one alone as well, which was also quite wise. Uh, but it is always the uh, the curveball that gets them thinking. So uh, so let's see what we got. He liked it. Straight to the pitcher, out at first. Lee Hu there, picking up the uh, base uh, run, and uh, and that's a that's a good out. So that's two outs there for the Nomads now, as we uh, as we bring up the third pitcher, who is Vera Romano, for the shortstop. Uh, actual decent pitch there. Uh, that makes a change for all of us. Strike two. And, uh, oh, I don't know, we've, we've been doing quite well. Feetum's curve is, is clearly catching them all off guard today. 
Uh, but not this time. Uh, let's make this one look legit. There you go. Seems legit. It wasn't. Um, okay, right. Well, here we go. And a slider to round things out. Oh, what do you think of that? Yes. Stomp back to your dugout there, lady. Well, it, it seemed quite poor uh, after the, the Bulldozer Power first inning. Um, but, uh, but eventually, uh, the Nomads couldn't do any better. So, uh, so Ninja Pumpkin is up next, our third baseman. Now batting, number 62, the third baseman. Oh, he hits one. That's good stuff. We won't stretch that to a double. We'll, we'll stick with the single on that one. Um, and we find it that's that's quite uh, confident there from uh, from Wilbur Carface, uh, who will be next to fight down Hemming Polbean, the uh, pitcher for the Nomads. And that's another nice hit. Uh, we'll stretch that one. Off you go, lads. Double base hit. Runners on second and third. Absolutely tremendous. Number thirteen, the second base. Sunny Watt on second. And uh, let's see what he gets. Shouldn't have hit that. Just saying. Just shouldn't have hit it. No, no, no that was that was quite poor. What are you What are you even doing there? Uh, my my team attempting to run themselves out. Uh, just uh, you know, I didn't even push a button for that one. Uh, Steve Morrie, the catcher, is uh, is next up to the plate. We'll let that one go. Because he's a wily old dog, you see. Yeah, I will let that one go too. Boof! Oh, not boof. Out. That's uh, that's what we got there. Uh, but we did manage to get a run, and uh, and that's something. Uh, and it's uh, it's Lee Hu, first baseman, next to face the gauntlet of pitches. He's he's not biting on that one. Uh, Lee Hu has seen. Oh no, he he did bite on that one though. What a mug. Bosh! No, out. Uh, well, uh, not the uh, not the greatest of innings, but uh, but a run batted in there with two hits. Uh, we've got to we've got to celebrate uh, the results that we get as we get them. And uh, his feet him is into his wind up. Foul ball. Strike two. And that one's that one's not going to work. No, you're out, pal. Go on, sit down. Uh, and it's uh, it's Kyle Deakness uh, who's up next, uh, second baseman for the Nomads. Uh, what has uh, what has old Kyle got going on there? Oh, big pun, Kale, Kale, because obviously he's named after a vegetable. Let's see if he's got the hitting power of one as well. Strike one. Oh yeah, he didn't think that was going to be a strike, but it was. Ha ha ha! Strike two, and uh, and one of our our snazzy little curveballs to finish him off. No, oh, all right, didn't quite finish him off. It would have been nice if it had, though. Uh, it would have been uh, made it look like I, I knew what I was doing. There we are, and Boosh at the plate. He's history. Get off. Uh, Scott Pohl now. He's uh, he's out to face down uh, down the might of Feetum. Slightly wafty pitch that one, but uh, but he got the job done. Oh, we suckered him good with that one, uh, and that's uh, that's a promising way to go. And here comes a slider. Chuck in the savage curve. No, good dive there from the uh, from the first baseman, but uh, but no, it wasn't it wasn't good enough, uh, even slightly. Um, unfortunate, allowing a hit there. Jordan Booth. Uh, let's see what he's made of. Strike one. Oh, beautiful. Strike two. It's 
strike three. Didn't even swing at that one. Frozen in place. And that's the Nomads there retired uh, for no runs. Get out. Uh, right, third innings. And it is uh, Featon, the pitcher, who is, uh, who is next up uh, to face uh, the trial by balls. And he's really nailed that one. Um, that's, uh, that's very impressive uh, from the pitcher. You wouldn't have expected it, but... Uh, but well, that's a beautiful hit there. Two base hits. Uh, magnificent. And uh, here's failure. Maybe he can do a little bit more this time than he did last time. Uh, you know, I like him so much I put my name on him. Well, okay, that'll do. Uh, that's a single base hit from him. But that should get feed him over to third, which is also grand. B Jack Hookers. Didn't do much on his first at bat. But uh, let's see what he can do this time. Yeah, he's not gonna he's not gonna swing at that i think he was born yesterday come on meat ah in your face literally yep ah, then the pitcher is down and the ball is also down do, 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 do. that seems to have spurred them into life there we go. Uh, if they were just going to leave it there, I was I was going to take that uh, opportunity to make another hit out, of the, another base hit out of that. Oh, unlucky! Almost a two, a, a double play there. Um, uh, their pitcher is uh, is now struggling from having been uh, thwacked really quite uh, substantially uh, in the noggin. Um, but, uh, but, you know, we don't want to see anyone get hurt. Uh, least of all on the, uh, on the side of the bulldozer power. Yeah, he, he doesn't, he no longer seems to be able to throw the thing correctly. We were, we're just going to soak that one up. And we'll take the walk. Yeah, very good. Uh, the expertise there. Uh, seeing what's happening. And his, uh, his car face. Nope. You have to wonder how long the coaching staff are going to keep him in um, as he's uh, as he's giving up the hit. Spaces are fully loaded. Uh, that's three runs now to Bulldozer Power. And uh, he's already walked someone. Here comes Sonny Watts. He feels good about life. He's got a big grin on his face. And he hit that one into the crowd. That's a souvenir for, for one lucky fan there. No, sir. Not, not going for that one. No, I'll leave that one as well. Right, we'd better have a swing at this, probably. That'll do. That's, a, that's another run in there. And, uh, and it's all starting to look like it's unravelling uh, for the Nomads at this early stage. And, uh, and as if by magic, uh, Hemming Polbean has been told to sit himself down. And it's uh, Trent Wrestles who's coming on in his place. Uh, Trent, very accurate. Uh, got good velocity. Nice beard. Facing off against Trent. Steve Morris, the catcher. And that's a lovely hit. And another run in there. Uh, Bulldozer Power really running the show here. Now back, number 30, the first baseman. Lee Hu. And uh, that'd be a foul ball there. But that one certainly isn't. Straight up to centre field. And, uh, and that's another run. You have, to, you have to question exactly what's going to, uh, what's going to spur the Nomads into life. Uh, can Featon repeat his first at bat? Certainly looks, looks promising. Uh, again, another base hit. And, and, uh, and that takes the uh, Bulldozer power score up to seven there and uh, and frankly uh, if failure can uh, can knock this one over the fence that would be absolutely splendid well, he's not, he's not going to hit that over the fence that's, that's nowhere near that'll do that's, that's perfectly acceptable that's, uh, that's another run in another base hit uh, we're all over them uh, this is this is really really a, a, a batting display being put on right now and uh here comes the pitcher bosh that's good for two 
uh, double uh, d double base hit there, base two base hit. Uh, yeah, he hit that one to the boundary, and uh, and that was that was pretty special. Uh, Bam Bam Puckai uh, in preseason performed really quite strongly. That doubt, however, was was just a foolish foolish move. That one not quite so foolish though. Has it got the distance? It certainly does. And uh, and Puckai there uh, sweeping up the remaining. Uh, uh, on base players for Bulldozer Power taking them uh, up 13 now and uh, you have to wonder whether the uh, ego setting is uh, is fully appropriate at this point oh there's no need for that wrestles throwing it straight at the batter he's good enough to get to first Here's Carface, uh, two for two so far, a double and a single, and he's also batted in a run. Uh, what can he achieve? Well, you can achieve leaving that one alone. Uh, let's have a look. A little short, but it's good enough. And uh, that takes us to runners on first and second. Uh, and uh, and really, it's uh, it's all it's all unraveling now uh, for the nomads. Um, they, they they seem incapable of uh, of mounting a defence up against a tremendous bulldozer power team. But that was a great catch uh, for the second out. Um, nice sliding move there uh, from centre field. And uh, and here's Steve Morey, uh, one for two so far. Two runs batted in. Smash uh, straight to first, and that's side out. But after 12 runs in that innings, uh, you really have to question whether the Nomads can rally uh, before uh, the end of the session. Now batting, number 26. Strike out. That's out number one. Uh, nothing doing in Nomad now Land. Batting, number 16. The, pitcher. the big bushy bearded pitcher uh, staring down Phaeton, who uh, who isn't going to stand for it. Now batting number fifteen, the right fielder. Jack Canyon back up to bat. Not so much with his first at bat. Let's see what uh, see what he can accomplish here. Okay, slight fielding error there, which wasn't ideal. Uh, allows Onion to get on base, and uh, and that's that's going to disappoint the crowd uh, of uh, of uh, bulldozer power loyalists. That one's gone high to centre field, and that's out three, and the nomads have been retired. Now batting, number 30, the first baseman. That's yeah, a nice drive, but uh, but frankly went as far as the shortstop, and uh, and he's out of there. Mr. Feetum, so far having a tremendous day at bat. Uh, is uh, is this going to continue that format? Uh, I don't think it's got the distance. It hasn't. That's an easy out. Now batting number thirty-two, the right fielder. Failure gets underneath that one like you wouldn't believe. Uh, it's booked itself a taxi. It's got an appointment at a restaurant. Uh, it's out of here. Uh, it's currently ordering from the hors d'oeuvres menu. Uh, he's possibly going to have a cocktail to wash that down with. Uh, that ball left deliberately. Were they dabbing there? That's, that's just not appropriate. The left fielder. Number 
Maybe a little high on the swing there. And that one was just ridiculous. We'll let that one go. Come on, throw me something good. No, oh, no, that, that was probably quite good. But I shouldn't have swung at it. Uh, but there you go. At least there's another run in there for uh, Bulldozer Power. They certainly are having their way of things uh, with the game as it is progressing right now. And it's uh, Vera Romano up to face the mighty, mighty Feetum. And uh, let's see uh, see how this plays out. Well, she's got a piece of that one. Uh, the question is, has it got legs? No, it does not have legs. It's a ball. It's a sphere. And that's another one that has been able to be hit really quite hard. Oh, and look at that. So a little bit of charity there for the Nomads as they, uh, as they get a home run there off what wasn't the worst pitch that we've actually done so far. Um, well done you. Congratulations. I, I hope you make your parents very happy. That's strike one. No, you were... That was, that was never going to work, was it? Oh, and uh, missing the, uh, the very easy catch there was Ninja Pumpkin. Uh, we'd hope for a little bit more, but uh, but I guess not. That one was maybe just a little in the dirt. However, that's enough to uh, to get the second uh, batter out there. I can't even remember who that was. That's how much I care. Uh, Scott Pohl is uh, is next up to face down Feetum, uh, who is still looking pretty robust. Uh, in this, the innings that it is. Fourth innings, bottom of the fourth. That's where we are. Yeah, throw the ball. Strike one. Really? You went for that, did you? Smashing bit of fielding, and that's the side out. Well, coughed up a run in that one, and uh, and that's uh, that's not something we want to see persist as we head into the fifth. Bam Bam Puckeye uh, with a home run for three runs. Uh, her last at bat. Uh, let's see what she can manage this time. Well, she, she can manage to not swing at that, which was clearly, clearly a poor pitch, as was this one. Seriously, you don't want to, you don't want to throw to me. And that's why Puckeye getting underneath that, and it's out of here. So, uh, the last two at-bats there for Bam Bam Puckeye have resulted in home runs. Um, that's, uh, that's frankly remarkable. Here's Ninja Pumpkin. Confident enough just to let that one go. Uh, confident enough to tattoo that one. And that's gone for the fence. Uh, could possibly have stretched that to a double, but, uh, but opted uh, not to. Car faces three for three so far. Uh, let's see how this works out. Badly. Badly how it works out. Uh, car face there, caught by the shortstop. Sonny Watts. Big nose, big grin. Big swing. Yeah, bit early. And leave that one alone. Have at it. Nope. That's nice, though. Oh, what a great catch from the second baseman, uh, who uh, who really uh, just lit that up, uh, soared through the air like some kind of majestic eagle. And uh, and the Nomads are once again changing up their pitching staff uh, as Enzo Corral comes on to see if he can suck slightly less than the last pitcher. Well, he's got an unconventional throwing technique, and uh, and it didn't help him. Uh, because uh, that was a that was a nice hit there to centre field, and here comes Lee Hu. 
first baseman. Very popular with the kids is Lee, who for good reason uh, really got a piece of that one, put it where the fielders weren't, and uh, and that's enough for a double um, and uh, and another run in there for Bulldozer Power, who are looking pretty unstoppable uh, in this the fifth innings. Mr. Feetham having a good game so far. And that's a big hit, but I don't think it's got the distance. It has not got the distance, most unfortunate. Um, but that's another two runs, 20 hits so far for Bulldozer. And uh, and the Nomads have, have got to pick themselves up, dust themselves off, and uh, and see if they can't turn something around uh, as we head into their uh, their second half of this game. And, uh, and hopefully they'll be able to rally. Who am I kidding? Hopefully they'll be able to continue stinking the place up. Let's see. Nothing doing on that one. Or on that one. Can Feetum finish him off in three? Looks like it. Booyah! Cheerio! Now batting, number 26, the catcher. April Rubenstein. She looks nervous. With good reason. Feetum is having a heck of a game. Ah, that was a ball. I didn't think it was. I thought that just just got in uh, inside the wire there. Let's let's make this one look legit. There you go. Come on there, pickle. Swing at this one. She has swung at it and got herself out in the process. And uh, nothing nothing too noble about that. Uh, Enzo Corral, the uh, the relief pitcher, or the uh, the second relief pitcher, I should say, after the first relief pitcher required relieving. Uh, let's see if he's got the uh, got the chops. Uh, he's uh, he's got his head at a very unnatural angle there. He had a go at it, missed. Obviously, Feetum, best pitcher on the mound, uh, is uh, is making him look rather foolish with that first throw. And with the second throw as well. Here's a pitch we've not seen in a little while. And with the fork ball there, oh, pitcher not pleased. Uh, he's thrown his bat to the floor, and that is no way to treat uh, an expensive piece of sporting equipment. His failure. Three for four today with a home run. And that's a nice way to start the innings uh, with a base hit. Now batting number 35, the left fielder. Bijan Steely-eyed. Oh, that looks promising, and it's got as far as the fence. Uh, he's going to try and stretch that to the double. Terrible throw back there by the centre fielder, and uh, that's runners now on second and third, as Bam Bam home run Puckeye uh, is next up to bat. Oh, left that one a little on the late side. No, no, no. Maybe a little bit nervous there with the, with the swing. Leave that one alone. This is the one. And there it is. That's going to be worth two runs uh, as Puckeye makes her way to second. And she really is showing up the boys on the team uh, when it comes to uh, who's getting the job done. Here's Ninja Pumpkin. 100% record so far today. And that one's going to get caught. It's not going to get caught. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, Pumpkin manages to maintain his 100%. Uh, could possibly have made a double there, but he had expected to be out. Uh, here comes Carface. Uh, he, like everybody else on the team, is racking up the run so far. Oh, and an error there from the second baseman. Couldn't quite make the catch. Uh, that's another run, 
and uh, it's still no outs here uh, for Bulldozer Power. Uh, Sonny Watt so far, only one of four, uh, has been a little bit disappointing. Nothing disappointing about that, however, that's another successful base hit. Now batting, number 63, the catcher. Steve Morey with his prescription sunglasses. And uh, looks like the pitcher could do with his own prescription glasses. And that's a nice big hit, but it hasn't got much power. Uh, but it's done enough. And everybody's going to go for an extra base there. And we're golden. Now batting, number 30, the first baseman. Batting 500 so far today, Lee Hu. That was poor. Uh, good power there, but uh, but the angle really wasn't appropriate. Oh, and another fielding mistake is going to allow in uh, some more uh, action. No, no, go, no, no, he tagged out. Uh, Lee Hu there, in a fit of excitement, tried to stretch a two-base uh, hit off that one and uh, ran himself out like a complete Charlie. Fatum just needs to calm down, room to breathe. That's it. Letting one go is always a sign of confidence. Smack that one nicely, but it just drifted over the foul line. Yeah, we've seen this before. Trying to smear some kind of gubbins on the ball. Doesn't help him, however, as Fatum uh, squeaks in uh, another run. Uh, well, it's not another run. He, he squeaks in another base. That's what he squeaked. Squeaky base. Failure's back up again. Wallop. No, that'll do it. Uh, that's all out there. A double play to finish out the innings. Uh, but another seven runs uh, batted in there at the top of the sixth. Um, the demoralised nomads now uh, with Jack Onion. Uh, who is one of the few players on the team to have actually been able to achieve a base hit so far. Uh, will this continue? Phaeton still looking healthy. No need to pull him out yet. That's a lovely fastball. 96 miles per hour just to get things underway. Oh, suckered him good on that one. That was going nowhere near the uh, the legit uh, the legit bowl box there and uh, uh, Jack Onion has, has got to be feeling the pressure, he's doing his little bounce uh, feels like he might break into uh, a bit of Michael Jackson moves any moment we're going to keep him waiting yeah yeah, because the tension's getting to him, you can see the tension getting to him even as we, here comes a pitch it's a good pitch uh, it, it's not a good pitch, that was, that was quite a poor pitch, as pitches go that's not the pitch you want this one could go anywhere. How about first? That'll do it. Now batting, number 27, the left fielder. That's Dillhofer up to, up to bat. Accomplished nothing so far today. Uh, but uh, he shouldn't feel too worried about that because, uh, let's face it, none of his team have really done much today. Strike one. Oop. Catch. Out. Now batting, number 25, the shortstop. The top of the batting order for the Nomads uh, really has underperformed uh, dramatically uh, this afternoon. And, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's up to Vera to, to try and reverse that trend. Uh, has she really got... I mean, she certainly looks like she means business. But has she got any business to mean? That one's gone very high in the air. Morrie's underneath it. And uh, that's side out as we head into the seventh innings. Um, it's, uh, it's a very unattractive performance uh, from the Nomads. Number 35, the left fielder. Oh, what a catch! Uh, they might not be performing particularly well on offense, uh, but defensively, uh, the Nomads really do have something to smile about there. As uh, Puckeye 
once again makes them look stupid and uh, and gets two bases for a trouble could possibly have got three out of that that would have been nice but uh, there's no need to be uh, no need to be too excessively confident now is there here's pumpkin we're not playing cricket here now that one has not got the speed uh, he's he's going to be uh, he's going to be walking back to the dugout his perfect record there um, no longer perfect number 11 the center fielder this car face uh, as uh, as the nomads decide once again uh, to, to bring in a completely a, a different pitcher it's prawn jock uh, who is now coming in to uh, to test his metal or to test his accuracy there you go well i mean that was certainly hit with authority but uh, but it wasn't uh, wasn't accurate there we go so we can smack them all over the place but legit However, uh, what do you make of those apples? And that's a that's a beautiful piece of home runage uh, there, here at the top of the seventh inning, as uh, as Carface gets his first r uh, home run of the season. He's got to be feeling pretty pleased with himself. No, 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 that won't do. So as we head into the seventh inning stretch, uh, which is the thing, um, uh, the, the Nomads are looking pitiful uh, with one-tenth of, uh, of the number of hits their opponents have managed to accomplish so far. Uh, here, however, is uh, home run hero uh, Jesse Flail. Uh, is Jesse going to flail at this one, uh, or is he going to come up with something worthwhile? Strike one. Uh, strike two. No, we dealt with Jesse Flail there using nothing but pitching majesty. And uh, and he's going to be feeling pretty ashamed of himself, tearing up his baseball cards as he uh, as he heads back to the dugout, much to the ridicule of his teammates. Uh, let's chuck a forky in as our first pitch here. See what happens. Yeah, not done one of those before. And Feetham, frankly, is uh, is looking as mighty now as he has done at any point in the game so far. Oh, he got a piece of that, and it's gone the distance. That's a home run there uh, by some random player for the Nomads, whose name I didn't uh, fully take into account first. It's Deakness. Deakness managed there to get a home run, and uh, and I'm sure he's feeling very pleased about it. Now batting, number 65, the first baseman. Here comes Scott Pohl. I'm not sure he is Polish. Uh, but his name's Scott. Strong one. There, strike two. Let's make this one easy for him. And he fouled that one out. Uh, chuck in a cheeky forky. Oh, yeah. Enjoy it. That one was just for you there, Scott. And that's a strikeout at the plate. Now batting number 24, the center field. Jordan Booth. Grizzled. Angry. Wondering how long this season's going to be. If this is the kind of drubbing he can expect to take uh, at the hands of Featon, who has, let's not forget, bowled every inning so far. He is starting to flag a little now, however, uh, so we should expect a pitching change uh, at some point in the near future. But that's good enough to strike out all three of the, uh, of the Nomad batters uh, in the seventh inning as we head into the eighth. You have to question, can 
bulldozer power extend their lead further and is it even possible to conceive that the nomads could pull back from what is an unholy lead well yes that's nice and high and everything but it really isn't going very far and that's first out there now batting number 30 the first baseman is Lee who what's he feeling like today He's feeling like a bit of that. He's feeling like uh, not making it to first base. Which is odd, because that's his home. He lives at first base. Now, Mr. Feetum is currently jacked. Uh, he is uh, incredibly confident. And it shows with, uh, with another fine uh, piece of batting there. Uh, the... Uh, the two batters who came before would do well to uh, to, to pay attention to his uh, his behaviour. Failure swung at that one, probably shouldn't have. Uh, swung at that one as well, definitely shouldn't have as, uh, as that runs out the side. Um, but at this point, the team are just, uh, they're just having a laugh. They're, uh, they're just enjoying themselves, having a great time, uh, enjoying the... Uh, the carnival atmosphere that is here today. Uh, Feetum, he's uh, he's still jacked, so uh, so he's uh, he's not being taken off the mound just yet. Let's see if he can round this one out. Uh, he's not going to want to waste too many pitches though, uh, if he can get away with it. That's out one. Another strike out there for Feetum. Gives his signature thumbs up there to uh, to his family who are sat in the crowd. Uh, they know he's feeling well. The uh, the pinch hitter for Prawn Jock uh, is being brought in. Uh, it's Bell Masters, and uh, and it's, this means that uh, that the Nomads really are burning through pitchers like there's no tomorrow. But they desperately, desperately need to get some uh, some mojo going uh, on their batting program because at the moment, they're being made to look rather silly. Dive or something? Guess not. Uh, well, that was fine. Uh, the, to be honest, there was precious little effort put in there by Puckeye, uh, who possibly could have dived for that if the, uh, uh, if the button had been remembered in time. Um, it wasn't, so it didn't. Yeah, all right, we'll let you steal second. That's fine. I'm not about to start flinging the ball around willy-nilly. Uh, that could uh, that could lead to just just peril. Uh, that's a sweet pitch, and so's that, and another strikeout. Uh, Feetum is uh, is going to be uh, doing his salary uh, prospects for next season. All power of good uh, with the performance that he's putting on today. You know what? Let's do something different. That one was maybe smidge low there. Feetum now definitely starting to look tired. Uh, I don't think we'll see him for another innings after this one. Let's see if he can finish this uh, this eighth inning out, though. Uh, here comes the pitch. That one's got popped up into the sky, uh, but it's into the crowd as well, so there's not much we can do about that. And there's another strikeout, and I think that's fitting way for, for Feetum to round out his day uh, with, uh, with three strikeouts there. And, uh, and he's going to be pleased, um, and he should go and rest that elbow so that he's ready for the next encounter. Uh, Diego Biggs now, pitching uh, for the Nomads. The left fielder. What are you doing swinging at that? I mean, I know we're ahead by miles, but uh, but certainly the uh, the choice to swing at those first two pitches is going to be questioned um, between this week and next week uh, because uh, that was that was just poor. Here's Puckeye, always exciting. 
That's no uh, exception. She's going for two on that one. Clearly setting herself up as the uh, as the batter to beat uh, for uh, for bulldozer power, and uh, and that's a good position to be in on a high scoring day like today. Pumpkin gets a piece of that. It's gone for the fence. Uh, that's going to get Puck uh, the Puckeye back home as uh, as Pumpkin makes his way to second. Carface once again pointing to the fence, and he has had a home run today, so you never know. Anything could happen. He could, in fact, get caught out. Um, uh, that was uh, ninja-like reflexes from the third baseman there to, uh, to disrupt the, uh, the smooth flow of things. That one's a little bit more like it, however, as... Uh, I, I didn't even notice who that was. Beg your pardon. Now batting, number 63, the catcher. Steve Morey maybe has been overconfident today, uh, but he does seem to be uh, to be ready for this one. He's uh, he's mentally prepared, or is he? No, no, he's he's not mentally prepared at all. Uh, well, one more run there for Bulldozer Power, taking it to a 35-hit day. 26 runs batted in, and uh, can the Nomads uh, pull off the unexpected here uh, as uh, Vera Romano heads out to the plate and, uh, and a staffing change is made uh, by, uh, by Bulldozer Power as they, uh, they substitute uh, Sally Rhythm in for, uh, for Mr. Feetum, who has, who has done more than his fair share for today. Sally's going to start out following the uh, the Feetum pattern. Oh, that was nice. That was pretty respectable as well. Maybe not quite as strong as her opening slider, uh, but that was a halfway decent curve. Uh, that one has gone skyward. Morrie's underneath it. And that's out. Now batting, number 19, the third baseman. Flail with a home run under his belt. Uh, let's see what he's got. He's got a strike. That's what he's got so far. Why are you not swinging at that? That was very clearly following the centre line. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that was wrong. No, uh, the, the, an incorrect button assignment there led to a non-dive, uh, which might have led to some kind of fielding masterpiece, uh, but it was not to be. Well, that one fouled out in really quite a spectacular fashion. Uh, so that's two, uh, two strikes. Uh, let's see what we get next. That's another ball, because you would. That's another strike, because obviously we hadn't had two strikes already. And let's do the same thing again, see if we can finish him off. Thank you very much. Sit down. Now batting number 65. First Everything to do now. Two outs. Will this be the start of a Nomad's rally? Uh, well, we've got a base steal going on. But uh, it doesn't really matter as uh, Bulldozer Power thrash the opposition on opening day uh, to really stamp themselves on this league uh, in the tactical division. And... Uh, Let's go. Uh, let's go see who our three stars were in a moment. Uh, there's the uh, the scoreboard that we've already seen. Uh, here's the uh, the batting record for today, and uh, and it's some very nice numbers. Um, uh, Bojack Hookers, uh, 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 Steve Watt, and uh, and Steve Mori. Um, they're all looking. Sorry, Sonny Watt. Beg your pardon. Uh, they're all looking like they could up their game a little, but batting 400 is certainly nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, as, uh, as Sally Rhythm came in there to finish him off. Feetum obviously getting the uh, 
getting the win for today uh, with an ERA of 2.25, uh, two uh, which is not brilliant. But you know what? Uh, it's significantly better than any of the pitchers on the opposing team managed. 14 strikeouts. Very nice indeed. So Puckeye unsurprisingly gets uh, MVP for today uh, with Carface and Pumpkin equally uh, respected in the post-game reward session. So at the end of the first week of play, uh, the, uh, the remaining matches have also now been played. And uh, as far as run difference is concerned, it's the Ocelots and Fruit Bats uh, that have had anything like the same level of performance as was managed to be achieved by Bulldozer Power uh, with... Uh, uh, with the Excavators, the other uh, winning team in the Tactical Division. And looking at the league leaders, uh, it is uh, Alejandro Tanon uh, of the uh, Ocelots, uh, Ethan Hogwash and 7B uh, for the champions, uh, who are managing to, uh, to maintain a 100% record uh, on at-bats. Uh, while it is Tanon again, uh, Puckeye and Pecorino uh, for the champions. Uh, no, the big button, the swingers, uh, who are uh, who are up there with two home runs apiece. And then on the pitching side of things, it's Feetum who is leading the way with 14 strikeouts so far this season, uh, making him the player to beat at the current time. Uh, that's uh, 15. Uh, 0.57 strikeouts per nine inning. So that's going to wrap it up for this first week of the uh, of the Electro Sports Super Mega Baseball 2 season. And uh, and next up, Bulldozer Power will be facing the Leprechauns. I hope to see you then. Uh, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, chuck a like at this one if you enjoyed the game. Went on quite a bit longer than I anticipated. And uh, and be sure to subscribe to get your season ticket in order to make sure you don't miss out on what happens next. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.